everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sasha J. Dyston and I feel like I've got hair somewhere and I can't find it. But anyways, um, if you'd like to know how I got this look right here, which is a bit bonkers, but um, yeah, just keep on watching. Also, if you like the content that I produce, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time that I upload. So what I'm going to start off with first is my Vitamin C Glow Moisturiser from The Body Shop. I absolutely love this moisturiser. So I'm just going to let that sink into my face for a little bit. Next I'm going to be using The Body Shop All-in-One Primer. So it's called Insta Blur Five Action Perfector all over my face. I never normally use primer, I normally just moisturise but since I've bought that I, I always prime now because um, it separates your foundation from your skin so it doesn't do as much damage because it can't sink into your pores and it blurs out your pores as well and it doesn't feel oily because I've found I've tried a multiple range of different primers and I've found that each one that I've used feels oily where this one just feels like silk on your skin so you can't complain with that now I'm going to go in with the Body Shop foundation which is Coyote which is a fresh nude foundation in Coyote Blossom 050 I stopped making videos whilst I was pregnant is because I, obviously I've got another son so with looking after him and being pregnant at the same time that was like enough for me so I just felt like I had to take some time off for myself and um but, but I was definitely coming back like I knew that within myself that I was 100% gonna start making YouTube channels again making YouTube videos again I love this brush They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. So the next thing that I'm going to do is contour. I'm going to be using the Revolution Pro Cream Contour Palette. And okay, this brown shade at the bottom here and this one at the top just because this one is... This one's quite warm and I want to tone it down a bit by adding this one. This one is a medium to dark, I think. This one is a light to medium palette, so you can also get a dark one in this. But I love it, I think it's really, really good. So when I contour, I do put quite a thick line and I just follow the shape of my face. So I normally always, always use a beauty blender to blend out my contour and obviously I haven't got it with me today. So I'm going to have to use a brush and I am quite nervous about this because I've never done it before. So I'm just going to be using this blush brush that I've got um, out of my Argos collection again. I don't know if Argos still sell this but it's a really good brush. Uh, it's a really good brush collection for anyone who's wanting to start out doing makeup. Um, you get, I think it's 25 brushes for £30. Um, just type in makeup brushes in Argos and they should come up if they're still there. But I really recommend these because they're great. You get every brush that you need basically to start you off. And I think £30 for such a big brush collection, you can't fall off at all. But right now I'm going to go in with the Revolution Concealer, everybody knows this, um, this is a brilliant concealer and I'm going in with shade C3. I'm just going to put this right under my eyes. So this is actually a blush brush but I think this will be the best brush for me to use to blend all this out. So this is the Match Perfection Silky Loose 
face powder and I've always used this powder I have got the revolution as well, one as well which is really good but I just prefer this one I think it's not as drying under the eyes and I have like quite sensitive eyes and if I use something that's too mattifying they dry up really quick so um, I like to use this one because I don't think that that does that to me so I'm going to be using the same brush by the body shop and I'm just going to put that right under where I put my concealer And now I'm going in with the Revolution Contour Kit. I absolutely love this. It's unbelievable and it comes with a little mirror. I'm pretty sure it's £8 if you want to buy it. It's incredible, really good like value for money. I think it's really pigmented as well. The only colours that I tend to use are these first two colours here. I just dip in both of them and then I just put it, put it where I want it to go. Remember always tap off your access as well just to make sure that your makeup doesn't go patchy. So now I'm going to go in with brows. Nothing has changed for my brows. I dropped my pencil but I'm just using the Archery one by Soap and Glory. I really need to get a new one though because it's running out. Um, but I think I'm going to treat myself to a benefit one, like something from benefit because everyone rants and raves about them and I've been using this for, I've been using the Soap and Glory Archery brow pen for years so I need to branch out a little bit. So I'll go off camera and I'll do my brows and I'll be right back. I want to go on and do my eyeshadow. So for eyeshadow I'm using, when I can find it, let's go, the Morphe 35M palette. So first of all I'm going to conceal my eye using the Revolution concealer, the one that I use to conceal with and I haven't got a beauty blender so I'm just going to use my finger to blend that in pat 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 <laughs> so now I'm going to zoom these in and get on with the eyes I am literally hoping and praying that this is good enough because I can't even see what's going on behind in the monitor because I haven't got like a flippy monitor, it's quite an old camera. So yeah. <laughs> oh. um, I'm going to be going in with this orange shade right here. Um, I did have the thing with all of the shade names on but I've like kind of lost it. So, yeah, tap off the access and I'm just going to dab that right above my crease. And I'm doing like wind white motions just to, just to get the colour where I want it. I'm going in with more of that orange shade just to build up the contrast and then I'm going to blend it a little bit. I didn't set the concealer because I found that the pigment sticks to the concealer so you can see the colour a lot more. Obviously if you want like extremely nicely blended um, eyeshadow then setting your concealer is a good idea but because I want the colour more than the blend at the moment I didn't set I want to go in with a brown shade just to smoke it out a little bit so I think I'm going to go in with this brown shade right here that's right at the edge oh am I zoomed in? oh right there. I don't think you are right. Is it zoomed? Is it zoomed? Let's see.
um, a little bit of a dilemma with my brain. Um, so yeah, I'm going in with this brown shade right here using the same brush and I'm just going to pack it right into my crease just where the orange shade ends and I'm going to do that and smoke it out a little bit. Again, I'm using that same window white motion just to spread it across the lid. And now I'm going to get more of that brown colour and I'm going to smoke it up. So I'm just going to put some concealer on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the bottom of my lid and then look up and there is my guideline. So I'm just going to follow that, which is going to be quite tricky because I can't see a thing. We'll swatch this one and see what this one's like. So that one's really nice. And then I'll do the orange right next to it. See the orange is absolutely stunning if you can see there but um, I think it might clash a little bit so I think I'm going to go with the lighter one and then I'll put the orange on the outside so I'll put like the lighter one in the middle and then the orange on the outside and then I'll blend it into the brown. Do you know this would actually be a really nice highlighter? I might try that as a highlighter actually. I'll bring my mirror closer to me because I can't see a thing. And I'm just going to put that right in the middle. The thing that I found out about these uh, shades as well, you do have to build them up to get the pigmentation that you want, but that doesn't bother me because it does pay off. And I'm going to do the same with the other eye. Okay, so now I do admit, I do look a bit scary right now. But um, I'm going to cut my crease. So for that, I'm going to be using, if I can find the pack. <laughs> oh my god, I'm brutal. Um... Right, I'm just going to have to use another brush to cut my crease because I can't find the ones that I normally use. Oh well. oh well. So the brush that I'm actually going to be using to cut my crease, I don't know what it actually is. <laughs> I've had this makeup brush, makeup brush. I've had this makeup brush for years. Um, it's a nice one for. <laughs> It's a nice one. It's a nice brush for cutting a crease because of how large it is. And it's also quite flat as well. So I really do like it. But the one that I normally use, I don't have. So this one's just going to have to do. Where's my concealer? <laughs> oh my god. 
my concealer fell on the floor. So I'm just going to put some concealer on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the bottom of my lid and then look up and there is my guideline. So I'm just going to follow that which is going to be quite tricky because I can't see a thing. My mirror is quite far away. So now that I've cut that crease, I'm going to do the other one. So that is now both eyes cut and ready for the shimmers. So I'm not actually sure what shimmer to use. I was thinking maybe of using this orange shimmer with it being like an orange halo themed cut crease. Um, We'll swatch this one and see what this one's like. So that one's really nice. And then I'll do the orange right next to it. See the orange is absolutely stunning if you can see there. But um, I think it might clash a little bit. So I think I'm going to go with the lighter one. And then I'll put the orange on the outside. So I'll put like... The lighter one in the middle and then the orange on the outside and then I'll blend it into the brown. So to put the shimmer on I'm going to be using this flat brush by BH Cosmetics and I'm going in with this light shape with this light creamy shimmer shade right at the top. Do you know this would actually be a really nice highlighter? I might try that as a highlighter actually. I'll bring my mirror closer to me because I can't see a thing and I'm just going to put that right in the middle the 
the thing that I found out about these uh, shades as well, you do have to build them up to get the pigmentation that you want, but that doesn't bother me because it does pay off. And I'm going to do the same with the other eye. Right, so my camera died, so I've had to come on at my phone. I don't have a clue what this is going to look like. Um, I would record off my phone anyway, but I haven't got enough storage. So I don't know how far we're going to get, but I'm going to try my best and just pray that it's going <laughs> to work out. Um, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with that orange shade, which is... Ooh, I can see myself, this is weird. I'm going to go in with this shimmer orange and i'm just going to put that right next to the champagne that we just used now i'm going to go back in with that champagne color and i'm just going to go over it and blend the orange and the champagne together I don't know if you can see, but this champagne, see if I can get some light in. Nope, not really, which is a shame, because I'll use my mirror like I did when it should. Mm. Oh, now you can see a little bit there. Oh, that's better. That champagne and the orange together are absolutely gorgeous. Like, obviously, we're not done yet, but um, there we go, that's a bit better. But the colours together are really, really nice. It's going to be going back in with our fluffy brush. I'm going to bring my mirror closer at me so I can see what I'm doing. gone with my Revolution Pro Brown Matte Lipstick and I'm also going to be putting a bit of Revolution, no, L'Oreal Paris Matte Lipstick on the inside of my lips. So now I'm going to spray my face with the Body Shop Setting Spray. I love this setting spray, it's really nice. So the mascara that I'm going to be using is the Southern Glory Mascara. As always, I have not yet purchased a new mascara and I got a new one for Christmas in the Southern Glory set. So I'm going in with this. As always, I haven't tried a new mascara for literally about five, six years. But I do like this one. It is a nice mascara. So now it's time to take off this little thing i really need to dye my hair please ignore my roots mum life <laughs> um but yeah let's find some better light in so i found kind of a little bit of better light in like that oh that's too much so this is my look 
mm, finished. You can't really see. Let me try over here. Mm, is that better lighting? <laughs> I don't know. Please ignore my messy bedroom. But yeah, that's what my eyes are looking like. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, subscribe to my channel. And thank you all for coming on and watching.